dear friends i have come up with a very innovative idea of uh, introducing you people you people refer to fresh graduate engineers civil engineers who wish themselves to be budding geotechnical engineers and adopt geotechnical engineering as their profession i am introducing you all to my new channel geotechnical engineering consultancy tips in a simplified way i would be adopting a very simplified approach to let you explain the mentioned subject matter <coughs> so welcome you all before starting on this very topic let me give you a brief introduction of myself i am anurag kapoor 1993 graduate engineer from civil branch mtech in geotechnical engineering i am in this field for last 28 years let me explain you all soil in a very simple manner basically soil is a three phase system which comprises of mineral matters that may be of different sizes constituting of different particles the other matter material can be a animal or plant residue in it which is decomposed over a period of time and the other part which the soil consists of is voids which is usually filled up by either water or air either water or air now how do you define soil how do you define soil is g stands for gravel m stands for silt sand s stands for sand and c stands for clay o stands for organic matter organic clay etc organic matter and the other one is peat p e t peat p t which is represented by as p t and two more things i will let you know is w and p w means well graded and p means poorly graded so this is what i wish to explain you in the introduction section in the introductory section because i will go step by step and the kind of soil when you define them they are basically defined as with uh, for the suffixes as l i and h say for example this can be written as cl ci ch or ml mi mh so what does this mean cl means silty clay of low plasticity and compressibility ci means silty clay of medium plasticity and compressibility and ch implies silty clay of high plasticity and compressibility and likewise this is sandy silt m stands for sandy silt let me explain you all what are the basic components of any pure technical engineering consultancy now let me begin with what does 
जो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग एक्चुअली कॉम्प्राइज ऑफ देर आर थ्री पार्ट्स टू इट फर्स्ट फील्ड एक्सप्लोरेशन सेकेंड लेबोरेटरी टेस्टिंग ऑफ द सैंपल्स विच वी विच वी ब्रिंग फ्रॉम फील्ड थर्ड इज रिपोर्ट प्रिपेरेशन बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिपेयर टेस्ट रिजल्ट शीट्स बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिपेयर टेस्ट रिजल्ट शीट्स नाउ द फील्ड एक्सप्लोरेशन we go to the field for any investigation job wherever any civil engineering structure is upcoming may it be a building or a overhead tank or a transmission line tower or a bridge or a culvert or a sump or any structures for sugar industry or you can say different structures for cement industry like you can think of whatsoever geotechnical engineering covers covers all the civil engineering structures which we do which we people habitate now field exploration mein hum log kya karte hain ke methods of boring hai that can be methods of boring can be auger boring wash boring परकशन बोरिंग एंड रोटरी ड्रिलिंग दिस रोटरी ड्रिलिंग इज ऑल्सो यूज विद डायमंड बिट्स इफ वी एनकाउंटर रॉक एट द साइट वन मोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फील्ड टेस्ट विच वी डू परफॉर्म एट द साइट आर एस पी टी DCPT and SCPT. SPT is a standard penetration test. DCPT is dynamic cone penetration test, and SCPT is a static cone penetration test. What we actually do at the site? We collect undisturbed. and disturb samples along with spt samples and bring them to our laboratory in accordance with the indian standard codes prescribed whatsoever terms i am referring to indian standard codes that i will be explaining you in my next upcoming part of this channel where i will go in detail for all of these things which i am telling you all now now after bringing these samples to the laboratory we do perform certain laboratory tests which form the part of the report what are these tests these are a specific gravity moisture content dry density bulk density which these are the basic test but after that we do perform direct shear test triaxial test and consolidation test and after preparing the research sheets 
of the different boreholes which were explored at the site for any particular structure we do consolidate them under the heading test result sheets and then we interpret those result sheets recommending the suitable most suitable most suitable foundation for the concerned structure which may be shallow foundation deep foundation etc so i now close my first lecture and will meet you in my next upcoming lecture very soon thank you